Hello friends and welcome to another edition of Bronco Sports Weekly. I'm Sean Fagan, recapping for you the best in Bronco sports from last week and taking a look ahead at what is to come. Well, men's basketball wrapped up its season last week, but not before extending their run in the College Basketball Invitational. The Broncos came back from a late deficit to beat the Wyoming Cowboys on the road on Monday night, breaking the Cowboys' 23-game home non-conference win streak but the Broncos would fall to George Mason in the tournament's Final Four on Wednesday. The Broncos finished with a 22-13 record. That's the third most wins for a single season in program history. Congratulations, guys. A fantastic season of Bronco basketball coming to a close. Baseball split their four games played last week, picking up a road win at Michigan on Wednesday and taking one of three from the Buffalo Bulls at Himes Field, downing their conference rivals 4-3 on Saturday. Let's start with that game against Michigan. The Broncos recorded 14 hits against the Wolverines with five players posting two knocks. Brooks Belke had two RBI and Will Nimke pitched five innings of two-run ball. The Broncos defeated the Wolverines 7-3. Steve Latacina pitched Western Michigan to a 4-3 win over Buffalo on Saturday, hurling seven innings, allowing just two runs. Men's tennis earned a pair of MAC victories on the road last week, sweeping both ends of a doubleheader by beating Northern Illinois 5-2 and Chicago State 7-0 on Friday. The Broncos ran their season-long win streak to eight matches with the wins and post their first 2-0 MAC start since going undefeated in the 2011 spring season. They'll host Buffalo this weekend in Kalamazoo. The women's tennis team ran their own win streak to three matches, all in conference play, with a 6-1 road win over Northern Illinois on Saturday in DeKalb. The Broncos took the doubles point and nailed down five of six singles matches to improve to 3-0 in MAC play for the first time since the 2009 season. Softball scored three runs in the top of the seventh inning against the Huskies on Saturday. It was a big weekend for the Broncos against the Northern Illinois Huskies for some reason. Coming back to beat Northern Illinois 7-6 in DeKalb. It was the third time this season the Broncos have come back to win a game when trailing after six innings. Christina Pagosi drove in the tying run with a single to center field, and Sabrina Gamboa reached on an error to plate the eventual game winner. Becca Schemberger whipped three Huskies in the bottom of the seventh inning to collect the win. And the track team competed at the Toledo Collegiate Classic on Saturday, racking up three event wins at the unscored meet. Sophomore Lindsey Huffdangle won the 400 hurdles with a time of 1 minute 2 seconds and 66 hundredths of a second. Iris Campbell broke the tape in the 200 meters with a time of 24.57 and Andrea Heiler tossed the discus 49.26 meters to win that event as well. And now let's take a look at some of the events coming up this week in Bronco Athletics. Softball will be in action at nationally ranked Michigan on Tuesday evening with a first pitch scheduled for 6 p.m. And they will continue MAC play this weekend with four games scheduled against conference opponents. The Broncos will travel for a road doubleheader against the Miami Redhawks on Friday before cutting across to Indiana to take on Ball State on Saturday and Sunday. Baseball continues its homestand with four games in the friendly confines this week, hosting Chicago State in a midweek clash on Wednesday afternoon, first pitch scheduled for 4 p.m., before hosting the Ball State Cardinals Friday through Sunday to continue MAC play. First pitch scheduled for 3 p.m. on Friday, 1 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. Women's tennis is on the road for their long road trip of the MAC season as they look to continue their hot streak with a match at Buffalo on Friday and at Akron on Saturday. The Broncos are currently 3-0 in MAC play, and these are the last two matches they'll play on the road this regular season. After that, it's three straight matches to close the conference schedule, and then it's on to the conference tournament to be played at Ball State. Men's tennis has just one match to look forward to this week, but it should be a good one as the Broncos host the Buffalo Bulls in Kalamazoo. The Bulls took their share of the regular season title last season, but the Broncos defeated them in the conference tournament 4-0. That was to decide the team to go to the NCAA tournament. The year before, the Broncos went undefeated in MAC play, beating Buffalo, who was then the reigning MAC champion. So lots of controversy, lots of intrigue surrounding this match. Really looking forward to this one. 
Two members of the Bronco gymnastics team will take the floor at the NCAA regionals this weekend with senior Caroline O'Brien and freshman Kayla Weber each earning trips to the Tuscaloosa regional hosted by Alabama. O'Brien is making her third straight trip to the regionals and she will compete on the uneven bars. While Weber makes her first trip there, she is again a freshman, so her first opportunity to go to the regionals and she will compete as an all-arounder. And track and field will continue their outdoor season. They will be at the Spartan Invitational hosted by Michigan State. And that's going to do it for us this week on Bronco Sports Weekly. I'm Sean Fagan saying join us again next week. Same Bronco time, same Bronco place.